Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So, let's get started. Should do a new game. It's been a while since I've actually played this. I was going to play it for Black Ops 6, but didn't have enough time. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Adler? Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on a target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust stop. We don't want to let him down. On the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the scene waiting. Hey, Mace. The party favors are in the trunk. I'd shoot the papers. The dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. Safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kasim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Dutchman! Um, gotta remove the adaptive triggers. Triggers, where are they?
Get it to Jenna. Goal! Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules? You have rules! You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trabzon Airfield tomorrow night. Down, one to go. I get the next one. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The 
The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is the idea, Raj, before things go hot.
Hostages. It was never about the hostages. His plan is already on the way. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west back. Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get the land. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus, the CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. Personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. And after 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Sir. Sir. Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Yeah, Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters. <coughs> <coughs> Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack. Reference it with MI6. We're looking. Yeah, it's because like, I got it on a monitor, so it's a bit different. The code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity. No, that shit. Anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. As ex-KGB, it was a risk to bring you on, but we needed to think like them. We need that mindset again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Side mission. There are side missions in the game. I think we. I think I've done the four. All right, Bell. I'll We're going, going back to Vietnam. Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January '68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the Third Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. 